Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I want to talk about what's on my wrist. This is a Microsoft Band. You might recognize it because you might have one. What I want to talk about is I want to talk about how to put a little screen protector on it. And Zag makes this whole line of what they call Invisible Shield. And they're really very fancy, very sophisticated screen covers, not just a piece of plastic. But they're a little tricky to put on. So, I had them send me one for the Microsoft Band, and I'm going to step you through the process of putting this on. You ready? Let's zoom in close. All right, the first thing we're going to have to do is actually take the Microsoft Band off. So, it's easily done. Now, they actually recommend that you go wash your hands. So, why don't you go and wash your hands thoroughly? You don't want any oils on your fingers. And then, we open this up. There's actually a lot of pieces involved in this thing. This is not actually a one second install. The screen itself is here. You can see the cutout with a little notch there. If you look at this, that notch, of course, is for the button. So that should be pretty easy for us to work on. Actually, I'm sorry, not the button. It's the sensors. So we don't want to cover those up. So first step is they have this goop, this cleaning stuff, and we'll need to use that. So we open up the little envelope, and we should have a little moisture thing in here. And they say it's very important, don't actually put that on the device. You want to put it on this. So let's do this in order. First thing, open this up, get our little cloth out, and let's give it a nice wipe first. So we'll start out with it being clean. I think that looks good. Now we're going to take this, the actual shield, and with any luck, let's see. Um, hmm, well, it's supposed to be easier than this. We're getting the whole thing and that's not right. There we go. Now I have just the shield. And now what they say is that you should actually wipe it with this cloth. So we'll do that. And then we want to put it on. And this, of course, is the trickiest part because you got to position it just so because generally these things don't let you move them once they're on. So let's see how well I can do. That's not very good. Let's try a little different orientation. Hope you can see what I'm doing. That looks pretty centered. So now, take the cloth and you wipe it again. And as you can see, it's looking good. The only issue we have is air bubbles. And that's solvable with the little squeegee. So now, always working from the center, we're gonna wanna do this. And I'll be honest with you, these are a little anxiety provoking putting these things on, especially on a device that's this narrow because there's not much leeway. But it's on, let's see. It certainly doesn't affect the view or the vis visibility of the screen. And I now know that I have a screen protector that's going to keep my Microsoft Band from getting banged up. So that's pretty nice. So there we go. It's a little bit of an ordeal. It's really not quite the same thing as just lay this sticker on and you're good to go. But the end result is really terrific. So if you have a Microsoft Band, I'd recommend you checking one of these out. And here's the good news. It's only $9.99 at the Microsoft Store. So you probably can even find it cheaper somewhere else online. But if you have a Microsoft Band, if you have any device, why wouldn't you want to put on a little screen protector? Because as much as they make these devices scratch resistant, you don't want to deal with having a nice, big, juicy scratch right across the side. So, you can learn more at zag.com. Just look for Invisible Shield, or you can go to the Microsoft Store. This is Dave Taylor, and I think I need to get some exercise because it's telling me I'm not moving enough. So, on that note, hmm, I'll catch you in my next video.